Yeah. Yeah. I come and never sleep on me I saw my chain, so good night, go get what you're looking at Full night noon, hoodie mong tong it Go find your comfort from another year I go low like What's up everybody, welcome back to Food Fanatic TV That's right, thanks for coming back and watching Alright, so today I'm at Wendy's And I'm checking out the Loaded Nacho Double Cheese Burger Alright, I'm gonna read off what's on it so, you have a jalapeno cheddar bun, spicy chipotle sauce, poblano queso, lettuce, tomato, spicy corn and tortilla strips, American cheese, and hamburger patties. And also, as a, as a bonus, right, the main thing I wanted to talk about with this burger, but also, I haven't had these ghost pepper fries that they make over here, so I'm gonna try those. But first, let me unravel this thing for you right quick. All right. And let's see, uh, let's see what's going on with this thing here. Oh, well, a little something came off. So, here is the burger right here. Let me open it up for you. Try to, I'm gonna keep this uh, wrapping around a little bit. Okay. Hold up, I gotta go back to the menu to make sure I remember everything. So, what's this? I guess these are the spicy corn toward spicy corn and tortilla strips. Oh, okay, that's what's up there. Um, a lot of stuff is kind of falling around, so bear with me. You know how it is. Let me see if I can turn it this way. Hold up. Whew. Come on, bun. There's that. So the tomatoes on top is sliding around a little bit. So I'm having a little bit of trouble. Oh, uh, okay. Tomatoes are on there. Trying to let them from falling off. And then you got the, the bun. It's the jalapeno bun, I believe. Yes, jalapeno cheddar bun. I wanna make sure I get everything right. And then this uh, chipotle sauce. And well, I read it off, y'all know what's on here. A lot of the sauce, yeah, this thing is just spinning around a little bit. More sauce and cheese on the back. Y'all can get a glimpse of that. All right. So, let me just go in here, figure some stuff out. Did they give me some napkins? Yeah, they did, because I think I'm gonna need it on here. All right, so let me see. How the crunchy element and all that's gonna hold up. I'm gonna have to keep it in this um in this wrap. Well, you know what? Honestly, I could just take the tomato, one of these tomatoes off. Just kind of eat that. Nothing to look at, just a tomato. Tomato's good, it's fresh. I'm just trying to stop the sandwich from moving around so much because both of the tomatoes on top is giving me a hard time to navigate it. All right. Time to roll. Hold on, just getting it to go in. Get my napkin. Okay, well I'm tasting so far. I could definitely taste that queso cheese in there. That's good. The burgers are good. Let me see. The spicy chipotle sauce. I can taste that. I gotta go in a little bit more to get that tortilla and uh, tortilla and uh, corn element. Let me see. So far, it's all good too. Hmm. There it is. Now, I don't know if this is the first time that. Wendy's came up with this sandwich because a lot of times they repeat these sandwiches. I never heard of it before. Um, so that's why I wanted to come through here and check it out. I bet y'all check this out. It's so much cheese on here. This is a really good sandwich. Really good sandwich. And this cheddar, um, this jalapeno cheddar bun. I like it. I like it. Um, 
as far as the fries, I'm gonna I'm gonna try those in a minute, but I can show them to you. Ghost pepper fries. Now I'm noticing when I go to some of these restaurants, right, that whenever they say ghost pepper, it's really not hot. So, um, like the ghost pepper chicken sandwich I had, I believe, from here or something, whatever. But. Mm. Yeah, that crunchiness of that corn or tortilla strips on here. Definitely good, definitely good. So yeah, I think it's a good sandwich to me. That definitely had a lot of cheese. I'm still getting that crunch from the corn and everything. I mean, it's a unique sandwich. Somebody thought of putting all these elements on here like this. I think it's good. Now, this is not the main thing, but these fries was extra. I'm just going to put it like this because I'm trying to hold on to the sandwich. Let me taste that. So it has something on it. I thought they gave you some kind of sauce. I guess the sauce is on here. The ghost pepper, the ghost pepper fries, ghost pepper fries. Here's another one that's like, I guess they got some kind of greenery. I don't know partially or something probably just to make it look nice but i taste the flavor but there is no no heat no heat no heat let me go back into this though now i'm definitely feeling this so if you're a Wendy's lover, you like their food, um, come through and get this. I mean, at least give it a try. It's not bad. I really like it. The bun is soft. It has the flavor of the jalapeno in there. So you, you do get like a little kick. I think I taste more in here with the queso and the, the bun than I taste in these fries right here. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I don't get Wendy's fries too much because I like a really, really crunchy element for fries. And sometimes when I get their fries, it's like, I've, I've done them in a couple of videos, they're crunchy for a minute and then they're not crunchy anymore. So, these are not too bad actually. Um, maybe we had to, fry them a little longer because they was putting the sauce on there so it wouldn't get too soggy but this had more of a crunch to me than the regular fries as i'm going through it now here's one this one definitely looks like it's crunchy so you can hear that hmm and if this was true ghost pepper on on these fries i would need something to drink but let me go back to this one more time. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know if y'all can hear that crunch or not. Here's a look at the inside of the burger. Everything's nice and juicy. It looks really good. Everything's proportioned correctly. Um, I mean, the, everything's balanced out. The only thing that threw the sandwich off a little bit was the tomatoes. The both of them kind of on the top, I had a hard time holding the bun and with the cheese, everything was sliding around, but. Mm, more crunch. When you get to that corn and tortilla up there, that makes it really interesting. It really does. So, um, I just wanted to do a quick review on this. I really like the sandwich. Like I will come back and get it again. So in case I didn't really show the bun like I should have, let me just let you, um, See, you can see the, the cheddar cheese and then the, the jalapeno there. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, so overall, this was good. The ghost pepper was extra. I just wanted to talk about it because I wasn't going to come do a video just on these fries. But do me a favor, if y'all like these videos and stuff and just want to see what I come up with next, just hit the subscribe button and then turn the notifications on. Like the video, share it, make comments on it. Um, I would appreciate that. So 
Um, that way, you know, you might be sitting around and just want to check out and see what else I'm doing next. Um, I also have a cookbook for home cooks that was just released. And I've been um, pushing that out, it's on Amazon, so I'll put the link in the description. Um, uh, so if it's something you wanna check out, there's some really easy recipes in there that you can make, and trust me, believe, they're good. Um, I have people making them and sending me comments, and um, it's really easy stuff to make, and you can impress some people with it. So just take a look at it, decide if you wanna get it. But once again, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will have another video soon, all right? So I'm out.